G'day, I'm Mark Dutton at Triple Eight Race Engineering. I'm uh, one of the race engineers, so I, I race engineer Jamie. Today you're watching Norton's Engineered for Speed. We'll have a brief look at the, the overall engine package that, that we run in, in the Holdens. Uh, at a later date we'll go into more detail. So the engine block is a, is a General Motors engine block. So it's, it's a motorsport block, it's, it's not offered in any road cars. Um, previously, uh, in years gone by, the, the rules were fairly open with how much you could lighten the block. So people were, were tearing them down so it was just, just enough to stay together and not fall apart. These days there's a minimum weight just to help reduce costs. So you can see there's a, there's a ballast block here, it's sealed so you can't, uh, can't dodge and rip it out when, whenever you want. Uh, the blocks, they, they last for a while. Uh, these days we don't tear them, tear them apart. We, we solidly mount them. You can see on the sump there uh, where it will be laterally supported and bolted from underneath. Uh, most road cars will, will have a flexible mounting on the side of the block. The reason we don't do that is the side of the block is generally quite thin around the water jackets. So if you have a, have a big impact into a wall, uh, it'll tear the side of the block out and uh, a lot of money down the tube. The other, the other reason that the blocks get uh, used by is um, there is a window of, of size that you have for, for, your, uh, for your cylinders. So if you run on the, on the lower side of, of that window, then uh, the block will last longer because you can keep honing and out, honing and out, honing and out until you reach the maximum limit. If you decide to start running at the maximum, well, the block will, will not be, uh, be able to be honed that many times. Uh, there's, there's a flywheel at the back as per engines. Ours are, are billet and a lot smaller. There's a minimum weight for them as well purely once again for cost, so cost and safety, you don't want them flying apart, we've all seen that happen, um, and you don't want people to, to have to replace them every two races, so there's a minimum weight on that. The cylinder head on, on the engine, that is also a, a GM product, uh, the, the porting and all that, that that's, uh, that's team dependent, so there are rules that, that close down what you can do, so you don't uh, yeah, go too crazy and blow the budget, but you do have a little bit of freedom and with engines uh, a little bit can make a bit of a difference, whether it's drivability, torque or, or peak power. Uh, at the top you can see we, we, are, we have individual throttle bodies and individual runners. Uh, you, they're, they're free length sort of thing, you can't have them uh, changing with RPM of the engine or anything uh, too funky like that. These are currently aluminium ones, we, um, a lot of people run, run carbon for weight. Uh, these these are a bit of a carryover for us. We've got some some new new uh, new toys in the pipeline. There, we'll, we'll come back to them at a later date. So you've got the block, you've got the head. They're the GM parts. The rest is custom. So the, these are made currently. The intakes are, are a PMM thing. The flywheel's done with us. Uh, we've designed and, and built the the sump. The internals are, are from specialist sort of uh, manufacturers in in their own departments, but. As I said earlier, that, uh, that'll be looked into later. Uh, we've got carbon valley tray, that's made by LSM up in Toowoomba. Uh, rocket covers are made by us. The front of the engine, if you wanna, if you wanna walk around to the front, you can, you can see that um, unlike your standard Holden, we've moved the distributor to the, to the front. That's just for, for ease of access, because usually on your Holden, it's on the back, on the forward, it's the front. So the forward, it's on the front, so they didn't have to move it. Uh, being at the back, Poor access, uh, doesn't fit in the car real well with your firewall, makes the airbox hard to make, so, so the rules were, were, uh, were updated to, to let people move it to the front. Um, so, so you've got a, a big aluminium front cover, that, that's all billet, that's made in house. Uh, so there's a drive off the camshaft for, for your distributor. You've got uh, a billet water pump, uh, water pump pulley, yeah, an off-the-shelf balancer. It's, it's not an off-the-shelf General Motors part, but is, it is uh, from obviously a performance shop. We make, uh, make the chopper wheel, your pulleys, you know, your alternator make that. Uh, that's a Bosch part, but it's, it's as low as possible. We run the, the ratio we want to run. Um, they're a dry sump, so the, it's not like your road car where you check your oil with the dipstick. The oil for the engine is, is, is kept elsewhere and, and you just have, have a pump. Um, to, to, to supply the engine and that's a V8 supercar engine.